हेलो गुड इवनिंग मैम Good evening, children. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, madam. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening to all. Everyone, please turn on the videos. Okay, so in the last class we had started with data handling, right? Okay, children. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have given you one activity also. I remember that was on pictograph. Yes, ma'am. How many did? Ma'am, I don't have any newspapers in my home. Ma'am, actually I tried, ma'am, but uh, I couldn't find any pictograph. Ma you couldn't find. Um, find yes. out in some magazines in children's edition. Oh my God. Uh, uh, from, uh, from any source, from maybe your comics, if you have okay. any kind of such things. Okay, okay. try. Okay. Maybe not one day, but maybe sometime you will get. Okay. okay? So keep your search on. Right? Okay, let's continue further. Okay, I'm moving to the screen. Okay, this is what we had done in the last class. Okay, so let's see <clears throat> another example. A survey was carried out on 30 students of class 6 in a school. Data, data about the different modes of transport used by them to travel to school was displayed as pictogram. So how does every child commute to school? No? Some may be coming by bus, some may be by their own vehicle bus, car and all. So the data is given here. What can you conclude from the pictograph? Now let's read the pictograph first. Okay, please pay attention. Now see the modes of traveling and the number of students. Now you can see here this smile face is made here, right? This one picture is representing one student. Okay? One picture is representing one student. So now, how many children come by private car? That's one, two, three, and four. So, I can write four here. Okay, yes. now I want somebody else to say, how many come by public bus? Five. 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 Okay, I'll take the name now. Okay. Harshit, tell me how many come by school bus? Harshit, tell me how many children come by school bus? 11. 11, okay. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay. Adya, tell me how many come by cycle? Ma'am, 3. 3. Shriyansh, tell me how many come by walking? Ma'am, 7. 
seven. Okay. So let's see what questions are asked here. From the pictograph, we find that the number of students coming by private car is four. Okay. Private car is four. Yes. Maximum of maximum number of students use the school bus. This is the most popular way. Okay, that also we observe. No, maximum students are coming by school bus. That was eleven. Cycle is used by only three students. The number of students using the other modes can be similarly found. Okay, so it's just an observation. Okay, no question is asked here, but it's just whatever is discussed. Okay, let's see now in this question example you are asked some questions. Okay, let's read this example. Yes, uh, Neha, read the question. Neha is here. Neha Trilokya is here. Trilokya, Neha, no response. Uh, they both didn't join now. Okay. Shreyan, she read the question. Yes. Following, uh, following is the uh, pictograph of the number of wheels watches manufactured by a factory in a particular week. Hmm. Um, day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Number of wrist watches manufactured. One picture is equal to 100 wrist watches. Uh -huh. Monday, 600 watches. Okay, 600 watches. I'm um, going to say next one. Okay, say. I'm um, 750. Okay, these are 750. Ma'am, can I say for next one? Okay, say. Ma'am, 650. 650, okay. Okay, who's the next one here? Adya, Bhavesh, Harshit. Harshit, tell me the next one. 800. 800. Okay, anyone else? Neha, Trilokya. Hundred. Okay. Okay. Um, 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 Okay. Ma'am, Saturday, Saturday, ma'am. I'll ask you. You don't have to answer like that. I'll take your name. Okay, Adya, tell me first one. On which day was the least number of wristwatches manufactured? Ma'am, Saturday. Saturday, that's 550. So, you can write here Saturday. Okay. Now, Harshit, on which day was the maximum number of wristwatches manufactured? Thursday. Thursday. Great. Okay. Find out the approximate number of wrist watches manufactured in the particular week. Approximate number of in the complete week, how many were manufactured? I need to add all. Ah, yes, you have to add all. Please add all. Everyone do. Hmm? Uh, How much is that? 3,900, ma'am. Ma'am, 3,900. 3,900. Ma'am, I got 4,550. Why? So many different answers are there. Ma'am, 3,850. Oh. Let me check here. See here, one place, one place, all zeros are here. In the tens place, we have 
five five and five. So that's fifty. Fifty thousand nine hundred and fifty, ma'am. Ma'am, four thousand five hundred and fifty. Ah, so this is three thousand nine hundred fifty. Okay, ma'am. Yes, I got yeah. the same answer. Okay, good. I actually like on Saturday I wrote of five hundred instead of five fifty. Ah, okay. Okay, so find out the maximum. So that is the maximum number of his watches manufactured in the complete week was 3950. Okay, we can complete the following table and find the answers. Okay, what is this saying now? Days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, number of his watches manufactured. Okay. So we have already done, we don't need this. Okay, now coming to the exercise part. All right, let's begin now. Now, in a mathematics test, I want somebody else to read now. Bhavesh, read the question. In a mathematics test, the following marks were obtained by 40 students. Arrange these marks in the table using tally marks. Uh, arrange these marks using tally marks. So can you make the table using tally marks? Yes, ma'am. So what I did columns will you need? First, I tell me, first tell me, uh, Shreyansh, tell me first what column will you make for this? Huh? What columns will you make for this? Uh, first, uh, we should write uh, the like uh, the marks, ma'am. Marks. So, marks. Yes, ma'am. Okay. One, two, three, four, two, eight. Nine, yes. nine, one, two, three, four, and so on. No, till so I can see the maximum marks. Tally, ma'am. Tally, ma'am. Then next will be tally. your tally. Tally, ma'am. Then next. Then number of students got the marks. Like Very nice. So number of students. Yes. Okay. Good. Shall we start doing? Start doing. Then in, at the end you will find the total also. Okay, as per the questions asked, shall we do, do, start doing, everyone do it in your notebooks and you will be showing me your notebook on the screen. Yes, hurry up. Tell me how many got one mark? Um, two students. How many got two? Two. How many got two marks? Um, three. Three. Okay. How many got three? Um, three. Three. How many got four? How many got four? Mom, seven. Seven. Okay. How many got five? Mom, six. Six. Then, uh, how many got six? Mom, seven. Mom, six. How many got six? I'm um, six. Seven. Seven, okay. ma'am. Okay, how many got seven? How many got seven? Uh, five. Five. How many got four? 
Uh, sorry, no, four. Next is eight. No, how many got eight? Number four. Number four. 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 How many got nine? Number one. Two, three. Number three. Yeah. Okay, this. Two, three. Three. Okay, so tally marks also you can make like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is three. For seven, you can make like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Can you make like this vertical bars? Okay. So, find how many students obtained marks equal to or more than seven. So, how many got marks equal to or more than seven? See, this was for two. My lines are not going straight. 12 students. 12. 12. Yes, ma'am. Yes. 7 and more than 7. So, 7 also you have to take and in more than that also. Yes, so, the number of students obtaining 7 marks were 5 students. Yes, 8 marks for 4 students. Huh. So, and 7 marks were 5 students. Then, 8 marks was also achieved by 4 students. Then, Nine marks by three students. Okay. So that means nine three nine plus three will be twelve. Is that okay? Twelve. How many students obtain marks equal to or more than seven? So that is twelve children. Okay, how many students I'm obtain I'm marks I'm below four? Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen, ma'am. Fifteen students. Fifteen. Yes. So below four. So this is four here. So you have to see the ones who have got below four. Eight, eight, eight plus three eight, 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 six, then seven, eight. 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 So that's eight. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Are you getting? This was five plus four plus three. And eight is three plus three plus two. Right? Is that okay? Everyone understood this? Yes, ma'am. Any child who has any difficulty here? Ma'am, A bit, ma'am. Which one? B bit. How many students? Ma'am, A. A. How many students a. obtained yes. marks equal to or more than seven? Now, equal to and more than 7. See, this was achieved by, this was by 7 students. This was by 8, 9. So, 7 marks was taken by 5 students. 8 marks were taken by 4, 9 by 3 students. So, if the question is asking how many students obtained marks equal to 7 and more than 7. So, equal to 7 is 5. More than 7 is 4 plus 3. You get it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, shall we move to the next question? Okay, children. Following is the choice of sweets of 30 students of class 6. Okay. So that is this uh, sweets are given as laddu, barfi, laddu, jalebi, laddu, rasgulla, and so many sweets are given. Okay. Now, so you have to make up a, a data for this first. Organize the data in a tabular form, right? Then arrange the names of sweets in the table using tally marks. Then arrange them as tally marks. Which sweet is preferred by most of the students? You have to find out. So, what will you make first? What columns will you make? Types of sweets. Types of sweets. Okay. Types also we can write or names also. Names of sweets. Tally marks. Tally marks. Number of students preferred. Number of students. 
गुड नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वील तो चलो स्टार्ट मेकिंग दिस मेक द कॉलम्स Mom done. Mom table. Okay. Let everyone do. Okay, tell me now, how many students like Laddu? Mom, eleven. Mom, eleven. Mom, eleven. Okay, all got the same. Barfi, how many like Barfi? Three, three mom. Three. three. Okay, Jalebi. Mom, seven. Mom, seven. Rasgulla. Nine. Mom, ten. 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 Mom, nine. 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 Okay. nine. ओके सो नाउ टैली मार्क्स ऑफ कोर्स यू मस्ट हैव मेड लाइक दिस फोर फाइव टेन एंड वन इलेवन ओके लाइक दिस वन टू थ्री सिक्स फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन राइट नाउ विच स्वीट इज प्रेफर्ड बाय मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स सो विच इज द स्वीट रसगुल्ला लड्डू Catherine threw a dice forty times, and noted the number appearing each time, as shown below. Hmm. Make a table and enter the data using tally marks. Find the number that appeared. Yes. So, Catherine threw the dice forty times, and each time she got some number. Yes. So all the numbers are written in the box. Make a table and enter the data using tally marks. Find the number that appeared. So tell me what columns will you make for this? Harshit will tell me what Harshit what columns will you make? Mom, first one the number. Number what? Which number? The dice number. The dice number. Okay, so we'll write here dice number on dice. We can write yes. This will be the first column number on the dice. Yes, ma'am. The next will be tally marks, ma'am. Tally marks. Tally marks. What will be the next? Ma'am, time next is the number of times it came. Ma'am, the number of times it came. Number of times. Time the frequency. Came. Number of times it came. Yes, we call it as frequency. So, how many times we are getting that number? So, suppose if if uh, Catherine threw the dice, she got two. So how many times she got two? Okay, how many times she got three? How many times she got one? And whatever. So that is number of times. So make a column now. 
प्लीज मेक द डेटा ऑर्गेनाइज द डेटा सो द नंबर ऑन द डाइस रेंजेस फ्रॉम वन टू सिक्स यस वी हैव सिक्स नंबर्स ऑन द डाइस नो I'm done with the table. Done with the table. Okay. So tell me how many times if number one is number one appeared. How many times one appeared? One six. Six. All getting the same. One two. I'm seven. Four. I'm so much seven. Five six seven. I'm so much seven, ma'am. Uh, How many times two appeared? One um, uh, six times. Six times. How many times three appeared? One um, five times. Five. Five. How many times four appeared? Um, four times. Yes, four times. How many times five appeared? Nine. Ten times. Um, eleven times. Um, eleven times. How many times six appeared? Um, seven times. Seven times. Okay. Now so you can make the tally marks. Have you all made the tally marks? Yes, ma'am. Everyone knows no, no, how to make these tally marks now. Okay. Let's do this one. One second. The minimum number of times. So which number appeared? Minimum number of times. Yes, Bhavi. I'm four. I'm four. Four. Okay. So four of them. Minimum number. I'm four. Will the maximum number of times? Five. I will not take the answer like this. I am taking the name. No, Sriyansh, tell me. Five. Five. Maximum number of times? Five number here. Okay. Five. Five. Adya. Adya, tell me. Five. Four. Five. Four. Four. Four appeared four times. No. Eleven yes, times number five appeared. Okay, see here, eleven times five appeared. No, so maximum yes, occurrence is five. Okay, who am I told the next? Adya. Yes, ma'am. Ah, Adya, say the next one. Find those numbers that appeared an equal number of times. One. And forty times. Equal number of times. Which number appeared equal number of times? One and six. No, one and six. One and six. Okay. Good. Okay, let's see the next one now. Harshit, read the question. Following pictograph shows the number of tractors in five villages. Mm -hmm. Villages. Number of tractors. One tractor. Village A. Six tractors. Village B. Five tractors. Village C. Eight tractors. 
village d three tractors village e six tractors okay good now children the pictograph is made in front of you now one by one you have to observe and give the answers okay i'll take the name whoever has to answer observe the pictograph and answer the following question which village has the maximum number of tractors priyansh tell me which village has maximum number yes village c village c okay i'll write here c which village has the max uh, no which... yeah, I mean, tell the minimum number of tractors ma'am ah, this is c or the D minimum D number minimum number is which one d priyansh d, D-, D- D. Okay, this is D. Okay, how many more tractors tractors village C has as compared to village B? How many more? Village B has five. Three. C has three. eight. That means it has three, three more. Three more. That means three more. Okay. What is the total number of tractors in all the five villages? What was the total number of tractors in all five villages? Man, twenty-eight. Man, twenty-eight. Okay, that's twenty. Twenty-eight. Man, twenty-eight. Yes, this is twenty-eight. Right? Okay. Now next, coming to the next question. <clears throat> Okay then. Ah, uh, they are read the next question number five. Ah, uh, they are read the next question. Huh. Mom. Read the next question. Okay, ma'am. The number of girls students in each class of a co-educational middle school is depicted by the pictograph. Hmm. Okay. Then read the data. Classes number of girls students one girl is equals to four girls. Hmm. Okay, tell me the first one. In class one, how many were the number of girl students? Ma'am, twenty-four. Okay, this is six into four, twenty-four. And then somebody else will say now. Harshit. Ma'am, eighteen. Ma'am, eighteen. Okay. So this is four and half. Okay, sixteen into eighteen. Okay, next, Priyansh. Oh, ma'am, twenty. Twenty. Bhavish. Ma'am. How many are the girls here? Ma'am, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, are there? Yes, ma'am. Uh, say how many girls are here in class five? Ten, ma'am. Ten. Okay. Yes, Harshit. Harshit, say. Ma'am, sixteen. Sixteen. Bhavesh. Ma'am, twelve. Okay. Priyansh. Priyansh. Ma'am, six. Ma'am. Six. Okay. Now let's move. What? Let's see what questions are asked. Observe this pictograph and answer the following questions. Which class has the minimum number of girl students? Which class has minimum number of girl students? Mom eight. Mom eight. Mom eight. Mom eight. Eight. 
eighth class has only six girl students. So that is eight. Um, eight. Yes. Is the number of students, number of girls in class six less than the number of girls in class five? Are they oh, oh, no. Yes? No, ma'am. No. Okay. No, so, ma'am. No. How many girls are there in class seven? Ma'am, ma'am, twelve. Ma'am, twelve. Ma'am. Okay. So that's done. Okay. So let's see this one. Okay. Shri Ram, read the next question. The sale of electric bulbs on different days of a week is shown below. Day, number of electric bulbs, one picture, uh, one picture is equal to two bulbs. Hmm. Monday, um, 12 bulbs. Tuesday, yes. um, 15. Bulbs. Wednesday, eight months. Eight bulbs. Okay. Ten bulbs. Okay, let me ask somebody else. Wait, wait. Let me ask somebody else. Bhavesh, tell me now. Tell me for Friday. Fourteen bulbs. Hurry up. No, fourteen bulbs. Fourteen. I'm 14 bulbs. Mom, 8 bulbs. What can we tell for last one? Okay, say. Mom, 18. 18 bulbs. 18. 18 bulbs. Yeah, 18. Okay. Now let's see what is asked. Observe the pictograph and answer the following question. How many bulbs were sold on Friday? Mom, oh, 14. Mom, 14. Mom, 14. Mm. So, 14 bulbs were sold on Friday. On which day were the maximum number of bulbs sold? Mom, Sunday. That is, the maximum number is on Sunday. Okay, so write Sunday here. On which days, same number of bulbs were sold? Mom, Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesday and Saturday. Saturday. Wednesday and Saturday. So we'll write here Wednesday and Saturday. On which days minimum number of bulbs were sold? Minimum, very few number. Mom, Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesday and Saturday. Okay. Right? Okay, now next one. Next one. If one big carton can hold nine bulbs, how many cartons were needed in the given week? Yes. If one big carton can hold nine bulbs, how many cartons were needed in the given week? Mom, can you scroll up? Okay. Mom, eight. Mom, eight. Mom, ten cartons. Mom, ten cartons. See, it's saying that one carton can hold nine bulbs, no? Mom, yes, ma'am. How many are the total bulbs? Mom, I guess eighteen. See, how many are the total bulbs? First, add all the bulbs. Mom, eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen, ma'am. See, eighteen. No, it's not 18. From 86. It's 86. Oh. Okay. So it's saying that one carton can hold nine bulbs. So how many cartons are required? See, oh, if I take nine into nine, so that will be 81. Okay. 
So 81 complete cartons, uh, sorry, uh, 9, uh -huh. so you can see 10 cartons, no? 9 complete cartons. Uh -huh. 9 complete cartons, so you can see 10 and cartons. More, uh, 10 cartons were needed. Uh -huh. So 10 cartons are needed. Yes. 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 You understood, no? In one carton, 9 bulbs can be accommodated. So 10 cartons are needed. Okay, children, let's wind up till here. Okay, that's okay. much for today. Please okay, ma'am. Okay, ma okay. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye, ma'am. Have a nice day.